What can we get you? Directions to Belbert Valley Farm. I'm the new owner. <clears throat> oh. In from America, right? I bet there's an intriguing backstory to your arrival. Well, after losing my job and my boyfriend in San Francisco, I entered a win and in contest. You won an inn, located in New Zealand. So, a 13-hour flight to Auckland and three bus rides later. All right, talk about a bit of a rocky start there. That was a look at Netflix's new rom-com, Falling in Love with the amazing Christina Milian and Adam Demos, who are joining us live from our LA studio. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. How are you doing? Oh, we're great. Thank we're you. Good. Thanks for having us. <laughs> yeah, that was fun to watch. It's so good. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's fun I, every time. The whole thing's a lot of fun. We've all seen a rom-com or two in our lives. What, to you, makes this one more special and unique? Ooh, man. Well, I think, uh, first off, we have impeccable chemistry. I there mean, it just go. can't resist the chemistry between <laughs> Adam and I. Same. But it's true, we had such an amazing time working on this. But I think for me, I think what brought what brought this, um, made this different for us when we were doing this rom-com is like the comedy factor. Yeah. We spruced it up and Roger Combo, yeah, yeah, yeah. our director, you you explain, I'm a, I can talk for hours about it, but. No, it was good. I mean, yeah, it's us and we, we, we became friends instantly. So the chemistry was really cool and easy and then Roger added his little quirky hits in there and then we also had goats and all sorts of things so, <laughs> but yeah so it made it separates it a little bit but um yeah and it's also got so much heart too so absolutely and New cool. Zealand was such a great setting yeah. uh, I mean I've never shot a, a comedy and, and such a beautiful place um, you can really take the fish out of water concept and, and and take it all the way across the world into this most beautiful place. You really get to just dive into the environment, into the people, and bring that 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 world to life within the movie. I like the goat well, part. Uh, yes, absolutely. In the film, yeah. Christina, your character has to flip it in with the help of Adam's character. Adam you used to work in construction, so this concept isn't too far-fetched for you. But would either of you get into the house flipping industry? Ooh. Well, I probably wouldn't because when I was working construction, I was a laborer, so I didn't really know what I was doing <laughs> apart from swinging a hammer and handing the tradesmen like tools. So I'll leave, I'll, I'll leave that to the professionals. But um, yeah, I don't know. Oh come you. on, Adam, you're gonna help you, me flip uh, a house. You've got the style. So you know, I'll be the laborer. We're gonna flip a house right after this. Now, That'll be the new reality. I'm telling you, I this. can see it. Like you said, all you really need is chemistry, and then we'll bring in a team to actually yeah. do the hard stuff. It's fine. Whatever. Anyway, I'd watch. Let, let's talk about this. The cast, uh, the cast became really close friends while filming this. At least that's what we hear. Tell me a little bit about that. What's going on when you're not shooting? When you're hanging out on set? Oh man, well, I mean, first off, I mean, there's a lot of like little dinners and stuff that happen after work because we're working for pretty much, you know, every scene we're in 24 yeah. <laughs> seven. Yeah, yeah. But like when we were filming in Thames, we would sometimes go back to our villas or what would you call that? That was like on the water, like, like a, a campground, cabin. cabins. Yeah. And they were on the water and you would see the most beautiful sundown. Yeah. Adam always had like a bottle of wine. Well, you'd sit, yeah, you so always did, yeah. no, come no, no. on. <laughs> Guys, that's that like the most romantic set I've ever heard of. In my life. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it, was, it was easy to get it was easy to get used to. But I but I also think when we're in scenes together, every scene together, yeah. and we were all the way from home and working all day together and still wanting to hang out post yeah. work is it goes to show how close we all got. So yeah, it was really cool. I mean couldn't have done it with a better bunch of people in my mind. Yeah. And not only people though, because Christina, you got to work with goats for this role. I imagine that working with animals can be a little just a little unpredictable. How nervous were you for that? <laughs> Oh, I wasn't nervous at all. First off, I'm an animal lover. I love, part of the excitement of me even reading this script and, and getting to New Zealand was me reading about this goat and then laughing my butt off the whole time I was reading the script. So I was actually super excited to get over there and work with uh, the goats. There were twin goats. Um, they were both girls. <laughs> They were sisters, obviously, um, but they were, you know, very professional. I was very mm. surprised. You know, mm -hmm. you have these scenes where you're just like interacting and you're like screaming or you're shocked and stuff. And they're just like, nah. <laughs> you're like, on cue. You get these awesome moments where their ears would go up. But it was, but they were very professional. They're a ton like, of fun to work with. I'd work with the goats any day. And I feel like they're following me everywhere I go now because I see goats everywhere. By the way, note for fans. I do. Uh, no, a note for fans yeah, of Christina Milian, if you ever see her in public, just 
bring up goats and she's going to be more excited to talk to you than ever. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Adam, let's talk about this. Fans may remember you from the hit Unreal. You're still really close with that cast. When you think back to your time on that show, what stands out to you the most? What did you love about that? Well, it was my first experience working overseas uh, on a show, so it was that was a really cool thing to do, you know, and um, just w being a fan of the show before actually getting the role and then all of a sudden stepping on set and working with the likes of Constant Zimmer, who is just one of the best ever, and so having those experiences, but then leaving the show with lifelong friends like her and Jeffrey, uh, that's surpasses being on set you know like same with Christina yeah. when you get to work with people and enjoy the process but then take friends away from that I mean that's pretty special that is pretty Facts. special Christina we can't <laughs> let you go without talking about your baby boy how's the pregnancy going oh it's going great <laughs> it's exciting I'm so excited honestly yeah. um, being pregnant with a boy I mean I had no morning sickness everything's been fine my belly even like I carry it different than than a girl it's um it's kind of weird to explain all that but um no, I get but it. yeah I have a having a boy is pretty awesome soon yeah being pre oh you do mm -hmm. okay yes yeah, so you know like I don't know something's different about it I've had a girl I have my beautiful daughter Violet and she's super excited she's nine years old so I got a like a little oh. mini mom on the side that's gonna <laughs> Help me out. Be your little helper. Uh, we're excited. I'm starting to feel little clicks and uh, kicks and flutters now. That is such a special so moment. What's the weirdest pregnancy craving yeah. you get? Um. Oh wow. The well, weirdest. Well, I'll take this one from here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had a real craving for chocolate. <laughs> no, <laughs> well, you know, I don't get cravings often. With my daughter, I had cravings for onions. Oh, wow. So that oh, was kind of weird. One. I Yeah, it was so good. It was actually really good. If I talk about it now, it makes me think about it once again. But I when I've, uh, my most recent craving was pizza. Oh, not, oh, that's okay. I have that craving all the time. Yeah. Never been pregnant, so yeah, it's fine. Same. Oh, yeah. Uh, I must be pregnant then. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should do this. Take a test. We all what's going on. <laughs> Christina, w when it comes to your boyfriend, Matt, what, how are you going to divvy up the duties with the newborn? How, oh, I mean, he can do all the duty, and I can. Okay. <laughs> I got it. Okay. There you go. Makes sense. And I'll do all the rest. <laughs> all right, that makes sense. Now you know he's 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 super excited. So we we'll figure it out. He's gonna. I think he's gonna be a natural. And uh, I definitely know I can count on him to be very helpful. All right, here we go. The movie takes place in New Zealand. Adam, you're from next door, Australia. Christina, yeah. you're from way out in New yep. Jersey. Jersey. Jersey girl here, too. Uh, it's an international project. We thought it would be fun to put you guys to the test, see how well you know each other's slang words. It's a little game we're calling Lost uh -oh. in uh -huh. Translation. You ready for this? Here we go. Ooh. Uh, yeah. All right, we'll start with you, Adam. What is the New Jersey meaning of the word jug handle? A, what you use to grab a jug. B, a turning lane. C, bra strap. What? What? Ha, ha, hold on. Uh, what's? What? What's B and C? I couldn't hear you probably. He that. said a turning lane, or A is what you use to grab a jug, or C, C a is bra a bra strap. strap. Yes. Bra strap. Eh. Eh. No, it's a turning lane. Actually, turn, uh. yeah. Guess what, Adam? I was also <laughs> very confused about that. All right, here we go. Moving on. Christina, what is the Aussie meaning of the word bludger? <laughs> Bludger. A, a person who's lazy. B, a person who likes to fight. C, a person who is bald. Ooh, Ooh um, I will go with, I'll go with, oh, a bludger. Oh, this is right, bludger. <laughs> I feel like this is not here from you or something. <laughs> We'll go with uh, we'll go with C, a person who's bald. Ah, it's A, a person who is lazy. Darn. It turns out. Oh, also, yeah. I'm learning things tricky. here too. Okay, here we go. All right, Adam. What is the new meaning of the word Jimmy? A, ice cream sprinkles. B, door handle. C, light bulb. What's it mean in Jersey? Door handle. Oh no no no! It's like it's sprinkles. Ice cream sprinkles. Ice cream sprinkles. But I'm oh, I'm from what? North. Oh, right, so I'm from North Jimmy Jersey. Under ice cream. So Jimmy nobody says that. Apparently it's a South Jersey thing. Yeah. We don't know. Anyway, all right, Christina, here we go. What's the Aussie meaning of the word? All right. Stubby. A cactus. Stubby. B hat. C beer bottle. Oh my gosh, you're killing me. Um, uh, I'm gonna drink a stubby. No. Uh, put a stubby on your head. No. Um. Mate, um, cactus? <laughs> a cactus. 
Uh, you should. You you need to drink. You need to drink a sub. It's beer bottle. Oh, beer bottle. And according to our Australian director, that? apparently it's yeah. also a type of shorts, like stubby shorts. Uh, shorts. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. Short, oh. yeah, short uh, rugby shorts. See, Adam oh. confirms. All right, Adam. See, Almost done. Here we go. You obviously okay. know a lot about that kind of knowledge, but who is being referred to when well, New Australian Jer knowledge? Yeah. New Jersey. Yeah, he's got it. Who is being referred to when New Jerseyans say? Boss, A, Beyonce, oh. B, Al Pacino, C, Bruce Springsteen. Oh, Bruce Springsteen? Yeah, yeah. there we go. I was yeah. worried that you didn't get that. A lot of right. Jerseyans would be this, bothering you. I think you. this might be our last one. Christina, what no, is no. the Aussie meaning of yeah. dog's breakfast? A, messy, B, late, C, big. Ooh, I'll go with C, big. Uh, it's dog's breakfast, oh. very messy. A. Uh, yeah. Messy. Messy. Yeah, it's like oh, a dog's breakfast in there. He wins. I guess. Okay, we've got one. Oh, there's oh, one more. One okay. last one. Last one. We're throwing in a bonus oh, okay. question for okay. Christina to answer. What are budgie smugglers? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's what they are. It's like a speed up. It's a speed up. <laughs> that's my nickname for Adam. But I'll go with the uh, budgie <laughs> smuggler. We'll go with the little, the little. Underwear that yeah, we just saw. That's right. It's like Speedo. a speedo. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I would think you it's not a parakeet. Because there was a picture. There was literally a picture. Yeah. <laughs> They're good sports. Guys, guys, thank you so much for playing along. It's really good to talk to you. We're all learning new things here. Uh, be sure to check out Falling in yeah. Love. It hits Netflix on August 29th. Thanks, guys.